What's up comic and pop culture fans? This was gonna be a very different video in which I went over a mystery box. However, I opened the mail expecting it to be one thing and it turns out someone, one of you guys, sent me some awesome books for the PC collection. Here's the problem. There's no name from where this is from. I have no idea who sent this to me. Guys, as part of an upcoming video, I had a sponsor that sent me a mystery box. I guess that video is just going to have to drop later in this week. I thought this package that I just unboxed was that, and I was going to do a little quick minute, maybe minute and a half sponsor thing for my video. Turns out it wasn't that, and it was just compl something completely different, which happens to fall in line with my personal collection as a extremely generous gift from, I'm guessing, a fan of the channel. Let me show you the unboxing clip. What's up, comic and pop culture fans? This is James with Mint Hunter Comics, and I'm here to talk about a sponsor. Yeah, so that ended up not being accurate. Been a long time since we've done a mystery box here, so let's go ahead and take a look and see some of the goodies that you can get. Here I left room to include a link for the mystery box. I'll have to do that on my next video when I actually unbox the thing. All right. Let's go ahead and get this. You can literally see the confusion in my face. I love it, man. <laughs> what? Um. All right, so here's where I start flipping through trying to find an actual name to this thing. No one left it. They just simply didn't have it. All I could find in the end of the day was just an address. I truly don't know who sent this to me. I'm still looking for you. So guys, this is clearly not the mystery box that I was going to do a sponsor. And I've already taken a look at what's in here and it's seriously awesome. I don't know who sent this to me. So I want to do some serious recon to try to find out where the heck this came from because I want to reciprocate this. Whoever sent this to me, I'm going to find who you are, and I'm going to send you some cool comic books. A lot of people on this channel already know that I got a couple big collections going on at the moment. The first 13 issues of Swamp Thing as well as Green Lantern. Someone must have had a keen eye at one of my recent videos where I talked about my Swamp Thing collection, talking about how I'm looking for a couple Swamp Thing issues, and we're going to start it right off. I actually have Swamp Thing number 8 in a CGC, I believe, 9.4 white pages. This, however, is extraordinarily clean and could very realistically rival that, maybe even pull out like a 9.6 after a press. That would be pretty sweet. That might be looking at a bump there for that. Right off the bat, that is a huge, huge gift right there, but it doesn't stop. Yeah, I, I gotta find out who sent me this. I got two copies of Swamp Thing number 10. I don't have this book. Now I have two. One is I would consider maybe like an 8.0. The other one could very well maybe get like a 9.0. Um, considering I have a slab collection of this Swamp Run, I'll probably take the higher one and get it graded. I have that option now. This is incredibly generous, guys. Uh, I'm looking like for clues on the back of each each of these to see if someone wrote their name on something. By the way, I thought you couldn't even send packages without writing who it's from. This is the second package I've got to date where it just showed up. Remember that time I got the Batman mask and it, I couldn't trace where it came from? It's, it's happening again, so this is awesome. I just... Uh, I really wish I could find who gave me these. Uh, yeah, that's, um, you know, guys, this high of a grade is, that's extremely special. I, I look for these books all the time. I don't find, I find them maybe in this type of the grade if I'm lucky, but this clean of a copy is kind of rare. And I know that those books aren't keys, but they're from 1973, 74. They're getting hard to find in high grade. Uh, the fun continues here. We got some Green Lantern. Um, this is one of the ones, I actually have a CGC 9.8 of this, but this one's so equally clean that I'm almost compelled to send this one in too. Or maybe I'll, here's a crazy thought. 
Maybe in addition to my CGC slab Green Lantern collection, maybe I'll keep a Green Lantern raw collection in the running behind it. I don't know. Two collections, one all slabbed, one all raw. That could result in bankruptcy. Maybe we won't do that. Very clean, guys. Incredibly generous. Green Lantern 133. Now, I know for a fact that this is one I don't have. Uh, Green Lantern 120. Um, this is one of the ones where I'm constantly on eBay plugging in like CGC 9.2, 9.4, 9.6, 9.8. Uh, you never see this one up there. Because again, these are oddball, non-key Green Lantern issues from like, I think this is maybe, yeah, 1979, you know. No one's gonna, ha no one's submitting these in. And now that CGC keeps raising the prices, you're really not gonna find oddball books like this. This is such a crisp copy that I am inclined to send it in. I can't remember if I have this one. I'll have to check uh, my personal log. Um, yeah, that's very nice, 1978. And I'm not going to be one of those people like, wow, look, it's a newsstand. Yeah, well, it's 1978. There were only newsstands. So let's not forget the basics. Comics 101. Write down in the comments, what year did direct editions come out? Let me know. A little comic trivia. That is very nice, though. Very clean. These are all very sharp. Clearly someone, maybe, I don't know if they found these in the wild, in high grade and knew that I collect very high grade copies of these kind of oddball non-keys and just sent them to me. Whoever this is, you gotta be a super fan to know this about me. So that's very generous. And then we have Green Lantern 105. Now this is a big deal because I have Green Lantern 100 through like, I think 110 all in 9.8s. I have them all slabbed. I do not have a 105. I can't seem to find one in a very high grade. This may just be the missing link to that clean 9.8 sweep of late 70s books I got going on here. So I will definitely be submitting this one to CGC. Thank you, mystery dude or dudette. This is, again, this is really kind of you. Now here's a Green Lantern 104. Now this is, this, ah oh man, this is also like 9.8 worthy. Even though I already have a 9.8 of this, I'm almost tempted to submit another one in. Just cause like, you don't see books this clean. Now guys, we got 108 and 109 here. These are the covers that have that like weird Batman looking dude. Now this is a weird character. Honestly, I'm really familiar with the Jeff Johns Green Lantern run, the Kyle Rayner stuff. The very beginning, so like the first 60 issues of the main Green Lantern run with Hal Jordan, obviously, and then again from like 150 all the way to end of that run. Everything in like the 100 range, I'm really shaky on, so I gotta do some reading and remember who that is. But these are very clean copies. I do already own 9.8s of these, um, but these are very crisp, especially this 108. I'm almost compelled to get that one sent in. Very nice. And I think this is the last one here. We have Green Lantern number 92. Wow. Now I know I don't have this one. I cannot find this one in high grade. So this was a gift from above, guys. Because like some of these that showed up in here are, are ones I've been looking for. These are the ones I'll type in eBay all the time just to see if I can find them. If I can find them, I find them kind of like mid-grade. I'm not really interested. Like I said, someone clearly knows me. Someone sent me some, some real good stuff here. I think this is 76 or 77. And this is probably in the nines. It is beautiful corners. Wow, these are pretty crispy. So, guys, just a recap here. We got Green Lantern 92, 108 and 109, 104 and 105, 111, 120, 133, all super crispy clean, all in the nine range. Some of them possibly going all the way up to a 9.8. And then we got some 74 Swamp Things, including a duplicate. One at about, probably around an 8.0, the other one at a 9.0. This one on the front here, inspiring me to maybe get that one sent in. I don't have a slab for that one, so I think this is gonna be a candidate for sure and a possible grade bump on my Swamp Thing number eight. So, here's what I gotta do. I'm hoping this video 
get some traction and obviously someone who's sending me something like this is watching my videos probably watching every single one if you are watching this video and you sent this to me please reach out to me on my instagram i need to know who you are because i've got a i got a little special something that i'm thinking of giving back to you um i think you'll like it as always i get um I, I don't always get to show it but i do get some pretty cool fan mail from time to time on this channel um I, i've gotten a few pieces of artwork in recently um so i've been kind of like waiting until it gets to a nice amount i might do a special video just to show that um but you guys are like super awesome you know you you guys have been ogs since the start you've been so super cool and it's just great to see the channel flowing so healthily and just i get to dork out and just have this nice escape from my terrible job and just kind of dive into my youtube channel and just have fun with it and you guys really make it so much easier for me um maybe one day i can get to the point where this can be my job and i can leave my other not so fun job it's honestly the sky's the limit guys um i'm feeling very inspired i'm feeling very appreciative of my awesome fans that i got out there i'm glad you're appreciating the content and guys this is this is completely unnecessary sending me something like this but oh boy am i grateful do you know how much time this just saved me hunting in the wild especially now that i'm kind of like putting the buying on pause to kind of give my budget a chance to catch up this is cool very cool bonus points to you guys as always collect what you love let's keep this hobby alive and continue to be the awesome community that you are and keep on hunting